And in just weeks, the Supreme Court will take up President Obama's national health care law. But today, we are finally finding out how the Obama administration's plan for insurance exchanges will work, assuming the Supreme Court does not throw out the law. Each state will have to set up online exchanges where consumers can shop for coverage. But the federal government may have to help the states pay for it. So what's the price tag for that? Well, the Obama administration is asking for $800 million of your tax money. Congressional Republicans are not particularly happy about that, to say it politely. They say the new health care law already costs too much. Just today, Senator Lindsey Graham posted on Facebook, Obamacare was supposed to lower premiums $2,500, but instead they have risen by $2,200. Is it any wonder we are having an anemic economic recovery? The author of that, Senator Graham, joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for having me. Um, $800 million. That's <laughs> President Obama says to help the exchanges get set up. Is well, he going to get it? Well, probably not. The $800 million is for those states who don't want to set up the exchanges. So if a state like South Carolina refused to set up the exchange, which they did, then the federal government would come, out, come in and set one up for South Carolina. That's what the $800 million is for. The exchanges have a, blue, let's see, bronze, silver, and gold metal requirements. These are bronze, silver, and gold plans. And if you're in a health care plan in the private sector that doesn't match the mandate that Obama has created for those three plans, then you lose your health care. So he told us we wouldn't lose our health care, you wouldn't lose your choices, and premiums would go down. Premiums have gone up, and millions of Americans are going to be kicked out of their plans because the mandates created in Obama health care they won't meet. Um, how are the Democrats? Um, are they uh, worried about this? You, <laughs> I, you, you nobody, I don't think anybody's pulling for the Supreme Court to strike down the mandate more than a lot of uh, uh, red, purple state Democrats because running with Obama health care, running into the headwinds of Obama health care, this thing was supposed to be deficit neutral. They didn't count the dot fix, uh, the, the care, uh, the class act was, uh, was abandoned, so it's now got about $140 billion deficit that we know of. So this thing is just not living up to its billing. We were promised certain things. None of those things have happened, and they're not going to happen. I think it would be the defining issue in 2014. All right, Afghanistan, horrible news over the weekend. 2012, um, I'm sorry. Uh, Afghanistan. Um, yeah, terrible. What should we do? Well, number one, the military justice process will work. I've been a, a defense lawyer, prosecutor, and military judge. He will but not, will that convince the Afghanis? I mean, that may be uh, very be convincing to Americans, but what about well, the people? Well, he'll be tried by our military. He will be given, a, if there's mental issues, defense counsel will be appointed. They will have access to psychiatrists. He will be given a fair hearing, but what he did was just doesn't represent who we are. And there's thousands acts of kindness every day by military members and civilians working on our behalf in Afghanistan. And the Afghan people know that. The Taliban will try to exploit that. But we've been there a long time doing a lot of good things, and this won't this won't taint the reputation of our military. He will be dealt with firmly and fairly. He'll get a fair defense, and he'll be tried in our military justice system. If there are any mental issues, he'll have a chance to raise them on whether or not he's guilty or what kind of sentence he should get. How many times have you been there? I've been there about a dozen times, and I've been there enough to know a couple things. If we lose, we're going to help will break out all over the world. You know those women you keep talking about that Hillary told, we're not going to leave you? If we leave that place without the ability to keep the Taliban and al-Qaeda you know, from taking over the country, those women will be treated poorly. And Pakistan falls next. General Allen has a good plan. He'll be testifying next week. The only thing I ask a war-weary public, and I know you're war-weary, is that we've got a chance to leave this place in 2014 with a counterterrorism force left behind less than 20% of what we have now is all we need to secure the country past 2014. By then, they'll be ready to be in the lead, and they can fight the Taliban with our help with a small counterterrorism force past 2014. We can leave with honor and security. If we pull out too quickly, like Obama's trying, and Republicans are saying, pull the plug. I mean, everybody, I mean, if you look at the, I mean, I yeah, have a poll on Greta Wire, and I, I urge I totally the viewers understand. to go vote on Greta Wire I, and to vote on it, but whether I, we should I, Let me now. just tell your viewers who are really great people. I know you're tired and now you, you have some doubts, but General Allen has a good plan. If we fail in Afghanistan, it breaks apart, Kandahar falls apart, and the Taliban on the Pakistan side get stronger and they'll go to Islamabad and the Iranians will say, aha, why should I worry about America coming after me? Look at Syria, they're doing nothing. Look at Iraq, they left before that place was done. Now they're leaving Afghanistan. If you want to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon, they got to believe that we, the American people, will see that. I know you're tired. The enemy's not. The people in Afghanistan are ace in the hole. Eighty percent of them, at least, hate the Taliban. They just need the ability to fight back, and they're getting there. Senator, thank you, sir. Thank you.
Coming up.